Hello, um, this is the parametric beta for Shaper 3D. Now in an open beta, I guess, so everyone can get it, but I just got it. And it's um, really cool, and I wanted to um, record just a little little bit of the, 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 well, I guess the parametric modeling stuff, because it's super neat. Um, so what you can do, oh yeah, there's a whole lot of interface changes to just select a plane stuff really nicely but um, like there's simple stuff you can do where if I use a, a shape once I extrude it you can see in the history here there's a sketch plane and an extrude so you can highlight those things uh, which is cool one thing that's actually pretty neat is one thing I noticed that it turns off the sketch by default but it's still there so that's interesting I assume that's something to do with the way the history is working but if I wanted to say I want to select the sketch plane, uh, if I m move it, what are you gonna do here? There we go. Like if I move it, the sketch is still attached, or the object in the sketch are attached, which was never the case before. I could sort of create the object out of the sketch, extrude it or whatever, and then it would be disconnected, um, which I'm used to. So this is cool, but you know, it's an adjustment. Um, but then I so I can change that. So if I went Let's just say I look in the history and I went to the sketch plane. It's oldest first, which is going to probably bug me, actually, instead of, like, bottom should be the oldest, I feel like, but, you know, whatever. Um, but as I've sketched, if I've adjusted this, what I can do here is I can, I'm changing the size and it's impacting the extrusion, which is pretty cool. Um, and then if I do, like, a, let's say, no, that's not what I want. I want an offset edge. I'm just going to this, and then I want to sort of extrude this, um, but if I go back to the, oh, that's interesting, it didn't show that, oh, really? Oh, okay, it took a second to come up, like if I, um, if I adjust this now, which is still, so it doesn't impact the that, which is kind of neat, you know, and stuff like that, so that's pretty cool. Um, and then, and then the other thing I thought that was really cool is because I'm looking at using some lofting for a design that I'm working on, and I'm going to, uh, this plane, I guess, or this, this angle, um, so I'm just going to draw a few splines, because uh, I'm working on, like, lofting a, a spaceship design. Uh, there, I never press hard enough on that. And then I want to do another one. It's gonna be small. And then, and I'm gonna reposition these in a second. So I'm just drawing. Never, never press hard. Shoot, that's not gonna work. Uh, for my purposes, I have to, I have to complete it apparently in one step. Like close the uh, spline. I mean, get there. Uh, and so then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take. This, I'm gonna move it here. This is gonna go back this way. I actually want this one to be here. Uh, I am gonna, oops. Uh, oh, weird, that left some overlapping geometry, interesting. So uh, what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to loft this. Boom, and so that's fine. And now because of the go to the loft thing here. Can I do anything here yet? No, I'm not, I'm just sure. Okay, I've only been using this for a couple minutes, so I'm, I'm not doing all this right. But uh, I went to the history again, and I want to then do the loft. Okay, did that? Is this not? Okay. Um, there's some, yeah, like, oh, hold on a second. I th think because it's hiding stuff. Let's see here. Okay, yeah, I don't know why it's doing that. So, um, like, I can still connect to this because it's direct modeling still, and I can adjust the loft here. So if anyone plays with this kind of stuff a lot, you realize uh, how pretty cool that is. So I don't have to remove or undo the loft. So previously I would have to, I would create the loft, and then I would say, oh, I don't, I, you know, I would have created the loft like I did. And I went, oh, I don't like that. And then I'm going to do this. I'm going to say, okay, well, this is bigger. 
then I'm going to say this is like the previous workflow um, for this kind of thing. And then I say, okay, does that look better? And I might then hit cancel. I guess I could hit cancel. And, but then I'd have to I hit cancel and I'd be like, no, actually. And then I'd have to hit loft. And you'd be like, ah, okay, that works. But now, um, this one, I'm not sure which one is that one, I guess. It, then I could, I could say, ah, oh, I'm going to fix that directly, which is pretty cool. Um, and another thing, just because the, um, I'll do it here actually, because there's a flat face. Um, I'm going to just create a little rectangle that is, um, for the purposes of what I'm actually trying to do is, is create a projection. I just, it's how I was drawing it. Um, I want to project to this target. So then I want to want to do is I want to do a little thing. So if you're doing like a, a little detail work and that's, that's all fine. Um, and then what's kind of cool is because this is connected, it moves this around, which is pretty sweet. And then more than that, I can actually, okay, actually if that's the square, um, hold on, I can do it with, um, I can do it with uh, doing this like that because it's a square it resizes. But if it's, um, it's boom. Um, and then I want to say, I want to bring this out and I say, ah, this is too tall. Instead of like previously, what I would do all the time is I would select this and then I would move it and I do that. Uh, whereas now I can just select this and go, I can adjust it like that, um, which is uh, so crazy. And then I think, I think, I think it should be this one. I'm not sure which loft is this one. Okay, I'm having some issues selecting some of these things. Yeah, it seems like it's, am I doing the thing wrong? Huh, I think I selected one. Anyway, um, I should be able to, I think, still move this around. See, and it doesn't impact that, which is pretty sweet. Um, and then, Let's see, can I also move it? So I'm <laughs> I'm exploring and recording. There we go. Um so I think if I, I think if I move this now, I'm not sure. I think if I move okay, so let me can I move this? What happens? Oh, okay, that's interesting. So it kind of oh no, that's not the I selected the I didn't select the object. Um uh, sketch play. Boom. Okay. So if I select this, what will happen? Oh, cool. So it doesn't move the connected ones, but it still does some stuff. Anyway, that one's, I have to figure that one out. But anyway, lots of cool objects, stuff, modeling is very cool. Very excited.